What's up folks, it's your buddy Fatal Rody. Today we're going to be doing the Raw recap. We started off with a recap between Braun Strowman and The Miz from last week. And we go to the ring where the Three Stooges are out there. The Miz cuts a promo on Baron Corbin then calls out Kurt Angle. Throughout the interview, The Miz runs a whole bunch of recaps of the past couple weeks. Leading on to Kurt Angle setting up a match with Braun Strowman versus The Miz later on tonight. As Kurt Angle starts leaving the ring, The Miz is on his knees begging like a little bitch that he is. We then come to our first match, Elias Sampson versus Jason Jordan in the guitar on a pole match. What? What? It was a decent match, kind of short, a bit of back and forth between the two of them. Elias got hold of the guitar first, was not able to connect with it. Jason Jordan got hold of the guitar and smashed Elias Sampson across the back with it, winning the match. It was decent, but it was more eck. I mean, we've seen this match, well, we haven't seen the guitar on the pole match, but we've seen these two people way too long. We then have Asuka versus Stacy Coates, a jobber. There was a bunch of let's go jobber chants in this match. Asuka won with the Asuka lock. The crowd really wasn't into this match, and to be honest, neither was I. We then have Samoa Joe versus Titus O'Neil, but as Titus O'Neil and Apollo Crews were at the top of the ramp, Samoa Joe comes out, attacks Crews, and puts O'Neil into the coquina clutch. So it's a no contest. Afterwards, Samoa Joe goes to the ring, gets on the microphone, says that he wants some competition. He's get basically giving an open challenge, and Finn Balor comes out. This is a pretty good match, surprisingly. These two fought each other quite a bit during NXT. Both of them were NXT champions. Each of them had a ton of offense between the two of them. There was a lot of back and forth. The fight spills outside and results in a double countout. After the decision, Finn Balor and Samoa Joe continue fighting. Referees come out, try to split them up. Security comes out, try to split them up. Kurt Angle comes out and says, that's the type of fight that I want on my team and puts both of them on the Survivor Series men's team. We then have another backstage segment where Jason Jordan meets up with Kurt Angle. And Kurt Angle names Jason Jordan the final member of the men's Survivor Series team to which that decision caught quite a bit of booze from the crowd. We then have a women's tag team match, Bailey and Sasha Banks versus Alicia Fox and Nia Jax. This was a decent match. They actually let it go for a pretty good long time. We see the usual going on in this match. Nia Jax throwing Bailey around. Sasha Banks coming out and saving her. Sasha Banks was able to get the bank statement on Alicia Fox for the win. After the match, Alicia Fox says that she wants her on the women's Survivor Series team doesn't really specify which person she wants on the team. I'm thinking she's meaning Sasha Banks, but I guess we'll have to find out next week. We then have Braun Strowman versus The Miz. Right off the bat, Braun Strowman hammers down on The Miz. The Miz tries to outsmart Strowman by setting up a double team, but Braun Strowman catches it. Braun Strowman levels Bo Dallas with a punch and throws Curtis Axel around, despite the fact that Curtis Axel has a neck brace, which was rather comical. Then Kane's music hits. He comes out, starts fighting with Strowman, which gets the Miz DQ'd. Kane goes for the choke slam, but Strowman grabs Kane's hand and fights out of it. Braun Strowman power slams Kane. To everyone's surprise, Kane sits up from that. Braun Strowman answers with a clothesline over the top rope on Kane. Then Bo Dallas and the Miz try to jump Braun Strowman. Strowman levels out Bo Dallas and gives a power slam to the Miz. We then have Enzo Amore coming out. Running his mouth as usual. The crowd is not liking it whatsoever. Kalisto comes out. He grabs a chair and sits at ringside. As Enzo Amore starts to run him down, Pete Dunne's music hits. Now, I've never really mentioned Pete Dunne before, but he's the UK champion for the WWE. But Pete Dunne comes out with Kurt Angle, and Kurt Angle says that he's setting up this match that goes on right now. Right at the start of the match, Enzo gets in Dunne's face, and Pete Dunne levels him with a forearm. This was a pretty quick match. There really wasn't a whole lot of back and forth in it, but Pete Dunne got the bitter end, which I think is a pump handle slam, if I remember correctly, on Enzo Amore for the win. They later announced that on 205 Live, they're going to be having the UK superstars on the show, which kind of makes me wonder if they're trying to get viewership up on that show. We then come to our main event, The Bar versus The Shield for the Raw Tag Titles. This was a pretty good match. There was a whole lot of offense between the both teams. The New Day come out, Shield style, calling Raw a three-hour bore fest and referring to Raw as the B-Show. Xavier Woods says that Raw is once again under siege. This distracts Rollins enough for Sheamus to get the brogue kick on him for the win, so we now have new tag team champions. 
and Kurt Angle in the Raw locker room come out and chase off the New Day. No other showing of SmackDown superstars that I saw, which makes me wonder how far they're going to be going with this and or if Raw is actually going to do anything on SmackDown. This is a pretty good Raw. There were a couple of matches that really didn't make sense or I wasn't really interested in, but the Balor, Samoa Joe, and Shield and Bar match were really good. I actually liked those quite a bit. They're saying that Roman Reigns will be returning next week, and we're going to be blessed by the appearance of our Universal Champion, Brock Lesnar. Well, let me get my dress and I'll have to learn how to curtsy. But that'll do it for this episode of Raw Recap. Leave a comment down below what you thought of tonight's Raw or what you thought of this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. I've been Fatal Roadie. You've been awesome. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, if it's too loud, you're too old. See ya.